Hi, I'm Maddie. My boyfriend Andrew and I live part-time in our van that we use to travel around the U.S. Just before the outbreak of a global pandemic, we had left our home in Texas to take a road trip around New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. We last left off on a journey headed north after spending a couple days exploring New Mexico. We drove through a little bit of Colorado in order to cross over into Moab, Utah. This will be both of our first times in Utah, so we are so excited to share our experience with y'all. What's up, guys? <laughs> Good morning from Utah. Last night we drove up to Moab where we actually met up with my parents um, who are staying in a hotel so we got some free breakfast this morning. So we are caravanning with them right now and driving into Arches National Park. So as you saw, the van broke down in arches. My parents are taking shots. Hey. <laughs> Wait, can you tell um, us come here? We're having to, it won't start. The battery's not dead. It's like something with the starter or the ignition. Tony, I think it really was whenever you pointed it out and I hit something, yeah. I can, th there's a wire. So the van's not starting, so we're having to get it towed. So I'm packing a bag right, right now. So look, Thankfully, Maddie, can you wait? we're with Hold my parents. On. Yay! We're gonna leave the van here. We'll just pack some stuff into my parents' car. The ladies. And we're gonna continue on with the day because why waste a beautiful day? Andrew just disconnected the battery because we couldn't get the car to turn off all the way and so he didn't want the battery to die on top of whatever ignition issue is going on. We are now leaving it unattended. Don't worry, we'll explain later in the video what exactly is wrong with the van. Um, we just left it there at that viewpoint so that a tow truck could come get it and take it to a mechanic in town. And we decided to just go on with the day in my parents' car so that we would not waste the one day that we did have in Arches. The next day. 
Good morning, we just spent the night without the van. Thankfully, we're in a very lucky situation that we met up with my parents and stuff. So they're checking out of their hotel right now. We just took their dogs on a walk and just letting them get some energy out with this beautiful view. And so we've been speaking to the mechanic and we have some news on the van, but I'm gonna wait and show you guys like the changes that they've made so far. Um, but for now, we're still kind of waiting to hear how long the rest is going to take and we're really, really hoping that it'll be done today because obviously that's like our home while we're on the road. So it's kind of scary. Um, but yeah, so right now we're just enjoying the view and hoping for the best. Two hours later. Great news. So it is noon, aka like almost exactly 24 hours after the van broke down and we are back on the road. Oh yeah, did you hear that? It started. So we turn the key and then push it. <laughs> Fancy. We live in large. <laughs> it wasn't too expensive of a fix, thank goodness, and they were able to fix it today, which is amazing. So we just were without it for one night. I'm not a mechanic, so please excuse me if I sound stupid saying any of this, but the ignition switch was broken or something like that. Um, so it wasn't able to start. Um, so what they ended up doing was basically putting in a push to start option. So now we turn the key and then we have a button to press when we start the van. But yeah, we're very, very, very happy with the results. We can be back on our way today. So we're gonna get some gas really quick and then we're gonna start driving towards Southern Utah. And then we got back in the car and continued our journey south towards Kanab, Utah. So we're going to go ahead and end off this video here with this drive, but definitely make sure to tune in to our next vlog where we're going to be in southern Utah exploring some beautiful national parks. And I just wanted to remind you guys once again that this was all filmed in the beginning of March before COVID-19 started controlling all our lives and making us stay inside. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe during this crazy time. We're definitely just chilling at home here in Texas. So make sure to check the description so that you guys can follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And until next time, thank you so, so, so much for watching. We love y'all. Bye-bye.